So today I was looking at the times of Israel and I saw a picture. I said, I need to have a look at this. And it was not completely uploaded at the time. So I had to go back to it a little bit later. It was posted on 8.36 p.m. Israel time. And the article is, Israeli satellite firm reports unusual activity at Iran nuclear site. Images of Fordo shows full parking lot, open gates to uranium enrichment tunnels, but no indication of illicit activity. An Israeli satellite imaging company on Thursday released images showing what it describes as an unusual movement around the Iranian Fordo nuclear facility, a one-time uranium enrichment plant buried deep underground that was converted to a research center as part of 2015 nuclear deal. The photographs which show large numbers of vehicles at the entrance to the facility and other signs of increased activity there do not themselves indicate any violation of the nuclear accord known formally as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA. The fate of the highly contentious nuclear agreement lies in the balance, with U.S. President Donald Trump set to decide whether or not America will remain party to it ahead of a May 12 deadline. The underground site, which has been protected by the powerful S-300 air defense system since 2016, was now shuttered as a part of the accord, but the types of activities allowed there were heavily curtailed. Barring a massive, heretofore undetected effort by Iran to bring Fordo back online in violation of the JCPOA, the increased activity could likely be attributed to an attempt by the Islamic Republic to imply that it is preparing to begin enriching uranium at the site if the U.S. pulls out of the agreement. As a part of the JCPOA, Iran was forced to limit the number of centrifuges allowed inside Fordo to 1,044, which would be kept in only one wing of the facility, and agreed that it will not conduct any uranium enrichment or any uranium enrichment related to research and development, and will have no nuclear materials at the Fordo fuel enrichment plant for 15 years. The International Atomic Energy Agency, which is tasked with monitoring Fordo and Iran's other nuclear facilities under the JCPOA, last released a report on the site in late February under the agreement IAEA monitors are entitled to inspect the facilities regularly, including daily, if they so choose. Throughout the reported period, Iran has not conducted any uranium enrichment or related research and development activities, and there has not been any nuclear material at the plant, the IAEA reported on February 22. The agency did not immediately respond to a Times of Israel request for comment on the date of its latest inspection site of the site. The pictures of the Fordo plant, which were taken on April 29, were released by ImageSat International, a satellite imagery analysis firm based out of Or Yehuda in central Israel. The company is largely run by former members of the Israeli Air Force. One satellite photograph showed cars and buses filling the Fordo's facility parking lot. ImageSat said, it has not detected any large presence of private vehicles nor buses in recent months. The firm provided a second image from July 8, 2016, in which no vehicles are visible. However, an aerial photograph from April 2, 2016, shows at least 10 cars and two buses at the facility's parking lot. Another image shows that a gate leading to what ImageSat refers to as uranium enrichment tunnels was open on April 29. Before that, the gate was last seen open on November 23, 2015. However, publicly available image satellite images of the site are few and far between. ImageSat also noted the construction of new buildings at the site, which the firm said appeared to be for research and development. There was no indication the buildings were used for research into uranium enrichment, which is expressly forbidden under the accord. 
Other types of scientific research are permitted at Florida so long as they are approved by the IAEA. Construction of the building began buildings began prior to the implementation of the JCPOA in January 2016 and was completed sometime in the past year as the structures can be seen on the Google Earth image of the site from September 2017. The facility is buried deep under, underneath a mountain apparently to offer it protection against potential Israeli or American airstrikes. It is also located just south, just outside the city of Qom, which is considered holy to Shiite Muslims, making any attempt at bombing of the site more complicated. <clears throat> Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu discussed the Fordo facility this week as he unveiled a stunning operation by the Mossad Intelligence Service in which over 100,000 documents pertaining to Iran's nuclear weapons program were spirited from Tehran to Israel. You all remember the Fordo facility? The Fordo Uranium Enrichment Facility. This was a secret underground enrichment facility that Iranians built under a mountain. You don't put thousands of centrifuges under a mountain to produce medical isotopes. You put them there for one reason, nuclear weapons, enrichment for nuclear weapons, Netanyahu said. A prime minister noted that construction of the facility took place after Iran was meant to have ended its atomic weapons program known as Project AMAD in 2003. You, will not be, you also will not be surprised that Iran insisted on keeping Fordo, and amazingly, the nuclear deal enabled it to do it, he said. While no official announcement has been made by the U.S. regarding the future of JCPOA, multiple sources told Reuters on Thursday that Trump had all but decided to abandon the deal and impose new sanctions against Iran. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif on Thursday responded to Trump's threats to pull out of the deal with a threat of his own. If the U.S. continues to violate the agreement or if it withdraws altogether, we will exercise our right to respond in a manner of our choosing, he said in an English language video. Now, so when I look at the picture in yellow, they ask the question, does Iran plan to reactivate the uranium enrichment plant in preparation for May the 12th? And so, <clears throat> what we see here in this picture is in July 8th, 2016, uh, they have not detected any large presence of private vehicles nor buses on, in recent months until the 29th of April, 2018, just a couple of weeks ago. What we see is, a bunch of private vehicles and four buses and uh, it looks like that they're planning on getting ready to crank this thing up and of course you all know what will have what will have to happen if they crank that thing back up. So, as I said in my last, one of my previous videos, that the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action was, and look, it was Donald Trump himself who pointed this out, except he did not accuse world leaders for using the JCPOA as a slush fund. He accused the regime of using it as a slush fund. But you see, <clears throat> that is lawyer speak. The Iranian regime to use it as a slush fund for what reason? Was it to pay off political leaders who voted for the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. That appears to be what's happened. And of course, the 
as I said before, the reason why politicians run for office is to enrich themselves. Let's just be honest about it, shall we? All you have to do is, you can go look at American politics. The British, look in British politics. Examine your British politicians. The French, do the same thing. The Italians, you know what they're, you know what they're doing. Here in the United States, it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. How a political figure can go from maybe having a million dollars or less, and then when finally retiring from public office, be worth millions and millions and millions and millions. Now, when you go and examine the pay rate that is prescribed for these political figures, there's no way in the world they can make that kind of money on the federal payroll. It's not possible. So what do they do? There are all kinds of stories out there about how previous administrations in the United States went to China to enrich themselves, went to Qatar and enrich themselves. The, under the former Saudi king, they enriched themselves by currying favor with these folks. This is what they do. This thing in Iran is no different. The Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action was designed as a slush fund for the political elite who voted for it. That's where, where the real crime is. It was on the backs of Israel. On the back of Israel, they did this. On the back of Israel's security. And... These same people who did this are the ones who are who tried to undermine President Donald Trump during the election and after the election and right now. He has no choice but to walk away from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action to eliminate that slush fund. And when it happens, the Iranians are going to crank Fordo back up again, and it will have to be destroyed. By who? By the one who is responsible for Israel's security. I have been saying for the last month, watch the middle of May very carefully. Now, there are people who are saying that, well, Donald Trump may have to uh, waive, if he's not going to do it, he's still going to have to wait till May the 14th to walk away from the deal. It doesn't matter. All he has to do is um, refuse to sign the waiver and on the May the 12th, and then, because they're saying this because he is planning on going to Jerusalem for the big party on May the 14th, for the um, opening ceremony of the new embassy in Jerusalem. He... Um, he can walk out of the deal 
on May the 15th. It's, it's, I don't know why people are making a big deal about it. But he has to. He has to exit the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action because it is a slush fund for his enemies. Plain and simple. That's what it is. And so just so you, everyone knows the reason why he has to do it, there is your answer. It's really not hard to understand. In his statement that I read, I believe it was yesterday or day before yesterday, Donald Trump's own statement proves that uh, it was an, on January the 18th, I believe it was, 2018, proves that the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action was designed as a slush fund for, as he said, the regime. And of course, what do regimes do with slush funds? They pay off their friends. That's what they do. Now you know the reason why the European countries are dead set against revoking the Iran nuke deal, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Pay attention. When they go and crank up this facility, don't forget it has S-300 uh, missiles there, uh, 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 missile chasers there. But since, since, uh, 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action was agreed upon, Israel has acquired new weapons. Namely, the um, F-35 stealth fighter bomber that can fly from Israel to Tehran and back twice on one tank of fuel. So it will have no problem reaching Fordo. So you see what's coming down the pipe, folks. It's checkmate for the world. And, um, well, I don't think it's going to be long. I stand by my statement that my opinion is the middle of May. Once again, it's my opinion. My opinion is no better than anybody else's. So we shall see.